Let's spawn in a ghast. Let's see what the- Oh my god, I knew the ghast would just be hideous. That's gross, dude. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today, I bring you five of the best realistic resource packs for Minecraft. I kind of just put together five of my personal favorites. So I'm basically just going to go through each texture pack and show you guys uh, the differences between that texture pack and the default resource pack that comes with Minecraft. And then I'm going to come back to this block world where, as you can see, there is every block in Minecraft just about behind me. Uh, and we'll, we'll take a look at the texture packs and what blocks that it changes. Also, thanks to Q-Magnet for hooking it up with this awesome resource pack review map, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 1. Okay, so the first resource pack is called Cyber Ghost Today's HD Pack, and it is a 128x photorealism resource pack, and it comes in 256 too. By the way, all these resource packs are in 1.9, but here are some differences between the resource pack and the default texture pack. Like I said, this resource pack is more photorealistic, so everything in the pack has got more of a dark, realistic, uh, dull feeling to it. If you like really realistic texture packs, then this might be a good replacement for the LB Photorealism texture pack if you use that. That is an updated 1.9 as of now when I'm recording this video. And here I am in the block world where we can see all our blocks have been transformed to the HD pack. Uh, so here's all of your like tool and crafting kind of blocks over here. You got your crafting bench, you have your furnace, uh, here's your enchantment table. It looks pretty neat. Everything here is just super HD, like the stone. is It really does look like stone. I'm pretty sure half of these are actual pictures. Like I said, it is photo realistic, so that means the pictures here are uh, just about real on every block, it looks like. They're probably just scaled down, though. Uh, that's why they look so pixely. These look kind of nice. Uh, I like the way the ender frame looks right there and then the portal for the nether looks interesting uh look at that it's got like some crazy crisscross purpley line pattern there one thing i do want to note real quick about this resource pack is that it has a pretty cool inventory it's got like these scratch marks and stuff and it looks real metally and indented i kind of like that um, I'm not too sure about these tabs though. I'm, I don't know if I like the fact that I can't really even tell what the item is on the tab, but obviously it would take some getting used to. And here is some redstone, and then we got the heads over here. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy looks super realistic. That's like someone's actual face, like, edited on there, onto this block. Look at that guy. All of these packs I'm going to be showing you guys are going to be 128, with the exception of one pack that I will get to eventually, but uh, for the most part, they are 128 by 128 pixels. That means there's 128 pixels on this side, and there's 128 pixels on this side. That is about eight times more than the default resolution for Minecraft. But anyways, moving on to number two. Alright, coming in at number two, we've got the Smooth Realistic Pack by Das Lissal, and here are some of the same angles that you saw from the previous pack. And I like this resource pack, it's a bright and clear pack, something you don't see in a lot of realistic resource packs. Now it is still a work in progress, so uh, just keep checking in with the forum page if you like this resource pack and want to keep it. So here I am uh, in the blocky world, uh, we got all our blocks changed to the new smooth realistic blocks. And I do like the inventory on this pack as well, uh, probably a little bit more than the other one. Let's check out some of the blocks over here, uh, <laughs> it looks like the oven is like a real oven, the furnace is now oven. Then we got over here a crafting table that looks like a, like a desk, and then there's a pencil a piece of paper, a cookie, and some change right there. And then we got the enchantment table up here, which looks like a chess table with a book. Has some pictures of tools inside, that's kind of cool. I do like the GUIs for some of these uh, crafting tables and furnaces and stuff like that. It looks really good on the inside. But yeah, here are the chests, if you didn't notice. The chests <laughs> look a little different. It looks like that's the trapped chest, and then this is the normal chest, which ends up just looking like like a drawer or something. But yeah, here are the ores. The ores stick out to me on this resource pack because they're white instead of like gray. The stone in this resource pack is more white than gray. Uh, but the ores themselves look really cool. They got these unique metal looking textures to them. And yeah, so that's the ores. The lava looks really nice on this one as well. If you get up really close, you can see all the details in that. And then we got the water, which looks all right. 
Um, then moving over here to the portals, I like the way these look. Uh, I like the way the nether one is like blue and purpley. And then here is the bed. It looks like it's got some like black silky kind of sheets on it. Uh, those always feel the best. And then here's the redstone kind of stuff. Uh, red oh, the redstone has like a pretty neat little particle animation going on there. <laughs> the normal head is a stormtrooper, it looks like. Then the uh, wither skeleton head is a dark trooper. Wait, what's going on with the creeper though? That's <laughs> look how creepy that is. It's so. Does the creeper? Hold on a second. Does the creeper actually look like that? I'm gonna spawn one in. Oh, he does. All right. Up next, we have the full of life resource pack by Mr. Boom Three, and this one looks really nice. It's another photorealism pack. Uh, it is 128x, and this pack is super funny because it's got like some crazy, wacky, funny mob faces on all the mobs, and um, I'll go through and show you some of the mobs in just a second, um, but it also has a custom music disc for music disc 13. But here I am in the block world, and our, our creeper's still over here. <laughs> Look at his face. Why? Why is that his face? I mean, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me just, let me show you some of these other mobs. Let's spawn in, um, oh, they got they don't even have spawn eggs they got like DNA uh, little icons for the eggs but yeah let's spawn in a zombie let's see what he looks like a skeleton let's spawn in like a witch maybe a cow uh, and a wolf let's just see what all of these mobs look like one by one uh, starting with the skeleton oh god oh my god he's just like kill me dude I I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to burn. The fire looks really interesting with this resource pack. But yeah, let's spawn in a, a Zambi. See what he looks like. How you doing, sir? Oh. <laughs> His face is pretty great, too. What, what is that? Like barbed wire around your chin? <laughs> okay, he died. Uh, Alright, so witch. Let's check out the witch. Alright, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> that... That doesn't look anything like a villager. Is this a squid? It actually just looks like a squid. All right, I'm gonna put in a cow. Let's see what the cow. Will <laughs> they all have great faces. It's like a surprise with every mob I see. And then I feel like if I was just in my survival world and all these mobs were looking at me like this, I don't know. Maybe I couldn't do it. Maybe I don't like this resource pack. Let's see what a wolf would look like. All right, hey Wolfie. Oh, he hasn't been changed. He he's normal, guys. The wolf is just he he wants no part of that. Look, he he ran off that way. These guys are just like, come on. Join the club. Okay, I got a few more here. A shulker. Looks like shulkers have not changed. And then here's a villager. <laughs> the villagers are just like the witches, I guess. All right, so villagers are now blue. And they look like squid people. Let's just move on to the texture pack. I'm going to show you guys what these blocks look like. All right, so here are the chests, the crafting tables, the furnace. Uh, and then uh, the enchantment table. All this stuff over here. What I like about this pack is that it stays somewhat close to the default textures so everything kind of looks at least a little similar uh, we got the doors up here uh, here are the oars doors and oars the oars actually look pretty nice if you're looking for something a little bit more realistic but it still has like that cartoony bright colory feel uh, for at least mining and oars and all that this is a good texture pack it's got a lot of bright vivid colors but uh yeah there is the lava up here here's the water uh, some miscellaneous blocks the portals over here they're pretty true to the original textures just a little bit more HD it looks like moving on we got the bed over here very nice very just true it's got we got the red bed it's classic uh, and then we got the redstone which looks about the same but with some really nice updated particles it looks like blood splatters that's what it looks like but yeah that is pretty much it for this texture pack moving on to the next one Okay, so this next resource pack that I have for you is a 32x resource pack. This is the Equanimity 3D pack by Film Jolk. It's a little bit uh, more Minecraft quality, but still very cool. It is a 3D resource pack, which means a lot of the blocks are 3D. And I don't know, I picked this one because I like it, and I personally would use it if uh, I did use a 3D resource pack. And we're just going to walk over here and start over here by the crafting table and stuff. Uh, hello. Hello. Dr. Treyors, what are you doing in my video? Okay, but yeah, here are the chests. I personally really like the chests in this resource pack. The chests are a big deal to me if I change my resource pack, and this one just nails it. I, I really like the simple brown color with the uh, iron, like, uh, trimmings or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so the ores look really good too as well. There's your diamond, your coal, all that stuff. I like the stones. I like the tone of the stones, the stone tone. And then we got the doors up here. The doors look phenomenal just 
nailed it on the doors. And then, yeah, as you can see, some of these blocks are 3D, like the furnace is, and then some of them just look 3D. Like, I can't tell if... No, th these are th definitely 3D. But, like, the bookcase down here, it looks 3D, but but really that's just the texture. The texture's 3 d -itized. But yeah, we got more blocks right here, and then uh, here's the lava and the water, and then uh, the portals. We've got the nether portal and the end portal. I really like that end portal texture. And then for the mobs on this resource pack, I don't believe the mobs have changed. Uh, as you can see, the creeper over there is just creeping around. We got the wolf, the witch. It looks like the villager didn't change. So the mobs on this one aren't changed if you are a fan of the uh, original Minecraft mob textures. Uh, there's TNT. We got the bed, which has been 3 d That's kind of cool. Uh, and then the redstone along with just the heads and piston stuff. One last thing to note is that uh, the inventory uh, is the original inventory, but I think it has uh, gotten a little crispier or something. I don't know, does this look crispier to you guys or does it just look like the original? Either way, the items in this pack look really great um, in the inventory. Um, I like that about the pack and yeah, um, equanimity. Moving on to number five. All right, so up next is one of my favorite realistic packs, and it is called Persistence by Chester Chair. It kind of adds a mix of rustic and medieval to Minecraft, so it does feel pretty OG, but it also feels a little bit more realistic as well. Here are all the blocks, and uh, right off the bat, you can see that the mobs have changed. Uh, the <laughs> That's really creepy. The mobs textures in this resource pack are more on the realistic side for sure, despite the bright colors and uh, all that stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the witch. L look at that witch's face right now. Ah! Is that a scar? What, what has this witch been getting himself into? Or herself, if you're a girl. I, I think you are. Uh, let's head over here to the chests and the crafting table, all that stuff. Everything looks great. Everything has a great saturation. I like the way the crafting table looks. Uh, the enchantment table is all right. And then the chests themselves look really good. And then the best part about this resource pack, I think, is the inventory. If you're looking for something uh, a little bit different than the normal inventory, you get almost this original looking inventory here. But then when you open up chests and stuff, it's wooden and it looks great. And and then like if you go into a furnace, it looks a little bit different. Enchantment table, awesome. Like I said, uh, it's one of my favorite resource packs just because it does cover everything. It gets the mobs and it like it gets the separate inventory graphics and all that. So here are the ores. Those look great, by the way. And then we got the lava. It kind of stays true to that original lava look. And then we got the water there. Uh, and then over here we got the portals. We got the end portal and then the nether portal. Those are looking pretty good. Uh, and then we got this nice red and black checkered bed. Uh, and then <laughs> this creeper is still hanging out of it. Here's the villager, by the way. Look at that. He's, he's looking pretty detailed as well. And then uh, we got some redstone, which uh, it looks all right. And then we have uh, the heads, which are super realistic, uh, as well as like all the mobs. So let's just pull out a few mobs and take a look at these. Uh, there's a few I want to look at. We got the zombie. Looks like... <laughs> A walker from Walking Dead kind of zombie and then we also got hold on let's spawn in a ghast let's see what the, oh my god I knew the ghast would just be hideous that's gross dude oh yeah look at this thing that is a tortured soul if I have ever saw one chicken what does the chicken look like oh yeah, it's, it's pretty realistic so it's, it's a good chicken right there uh, what about a shulker oh shulkers have not been textured okay how about a mushroom Oh man, oh man. That was five of Minecraft's best realistic resource packs. Let me know if you guys did enjoy this kind of video and uh, if you did and want to see some more, uh, I would be happy to do some more uh, texture pack showcases like this where I pick like five or six really cool types of texture packs uh, and then showcase them all in one video. It's totally up to you guys, but uh, other than that, I will talk to y'all later and peace out.